हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर एस आर दंडवते आय वेलकम यू टू दी सिक्स व्हिडिओ ऑन इंटरफरन्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू ऍप्लिकेशन ऑफ इंटरफरन्स दॅट इज टेस्टिंग ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फ्लॅटनेस ऑफ सर्फेसेस अँड डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ थिकनेस ऑफ थिन फिल्म्स ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस लेक्चर लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टँड यूज ऑफ इंटरफेरोमेट्री कन्सेप्ट फॉर टेस्टिंग ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फ्लॅटनेस ऑफ सर्फेसेस ॲज वेल ॲज टू डिटरमाईन थिकनेस ऑफ थिन फिल्म्स सो लेट अस सी फर्स्ट वन हाऊ कॅन वी टेस्ट ऑप्टिकल फ्लॅटनेस ऑफ सर्फेसेस देर आर मेनी युजेस ऑफ ऑप्टिकल फ्लॅट सर्फेसेस इन अवर डे टू डेज लाईफ लाईक इन ऑप्टिक्स लॅबोरेटरी ऑर इन मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग ऑप्टिकल फ्लॅट सर्फेसेस आर युज द सर्फेसेस मे अपिअर फ्लॅट टू अवर हँड्स ऑर आईज बट द सर्फेसेस मे नॉट बी ऍक्च्युअली ऑप्टिकली फ्लॅट so whether the given surface is optically flat or not that can be tested with the help of interferometry concept so how is it possible for that purpose we can use our interferometry concept particularly the concept of wedge film theory suppose we have one specimen this specimen a is to be tested for its optical flatness another standard optically flat surface is taken and this surface say b is placed on surface a like this so that it creates wedge film in between and if the system is illuminated by monochromatic beam of light then interference pattern can be seen using traveling microscope this already we have discussed in previous videos now in case if this surface is optically flat then what will be the nature of the uh, interference pattern it will look like this in the field of view of the traveling microscope it will give alternate bright and dark straight bands which are equally spaced okay now user don't know whether the surface is optically flat or not user just performs experiment and see field of view and this interference pattern so in case if the field of view is like this the conclusion will be drawn that the given surface is optically flat now in case if the surfaces are not optically flat say like in the second diagram uh, it is concave or in the third diagram if the surface is slightly convex that means the surfaces are not optically flat so how to decide whether it is not optically flat that will be observed with the help of this field of view in the field of view if the bands are not straight bands will be alternately bright and dark but will not be straight now in case if the bands are not straight that means the surfaces are not optically flat that's it so this way using simple interferometry concept we can conclude whether the given surface is optically flat or not now let us see how interferometry concept helps to measure thickness of thin films in previous video we have discussed one application of interference that is anti reflecting thin film coatings the thickness of this thin films is of the order of lambda upon 4 mu where lambda is very small it is 5500 angstrom units that is 5500 into 10 raised to power minus 10 meter that means the value of t is practically very very small now question comes how can we detect mind thickness of such thin films using interferometry concept it is possible we know that if we consider a substrate and on that plain glass plate is so placed that it creates wedge film with the help of piece of paper or very thin wire now this wedge film can be illuminated by monochromatic beam of light now what type of field of view it is going to produce it will produce alternate bright and dark straight bands which are equally spaced this we know now the same technique can be used to measure the thickness of thin film let us imagine a thin film which is deposited on substrate and our interest is to find out its thickness now one plain glass plate is placed on the top of that film so that it creates wedge film in between now in the present case two wedge films are created because of the thin deposited film now the system is illuminated normally by monochromatic beam of light and the interference pattern is seen using traveling microscope so there is slight difference in this case there are two wedge films see here this is one wedge film and this is another wedge film so if we consider this particular wedge film then it will show alternate bright and dark straight bands this will also have alternate bright and dark straight bands but when we move from one film one wedge to other wedge film then there will be something different observation so what type of observation it shows let us see due to the existence of this thin film which has thickness t we have slight shift in the band the bands are not aligned see here this is structure for one wedge film this is structure for other wedge film but at the point where there is transition from one wedge to other wedge there is some 
shift in the bands by value say s so this value s can be measured with the help of traveling microscope so once we know the value of s then just by dividing it by 2 we will get the desired thickness of the film thus using formula t is equal to s upon 2 we will get the desired thickness of thin film which is deposited on the substrate this way interferometric concept helps in the measurement of thickness of the thin film or in the testing of optical flatness of the surface Thank you.